Okay, so I want to talk about sleep. It's a hot topic at the moment. I've been teaching one-to-one -one yoga classes for a while now, and while my focus has been on providing a good workout and an introduction to yoga, the number one piece of feedback that I've been getting from my clients is about how well they sleep after yoga class. Now, this is a known benefit of yoga, but it just got me thinking about my own sleep habits and my issues with insomnia. I can fall asleep absolutely anywhere and I fall asleep on planes and trains and buses and I've even fallen asleep uh, at the dentist in the middle of a treatment. But my issue has always been staying asleep all night. So I go through phases that last for years of waking up at 3 or 4 a.m. Um, and you know when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're frantically working out how many hours and minutes sleep you can have if you fall back asleep right that second. And we put a lot of pressure on ourselves and as well as that during lockdown um, people that normally have no trouble sleeping are starting to have issues. So instead of pressuring, our, pressuring ourselves into having a certain number of hours sleep a night and recording our REM and all that kind of thing, um, I'm just finding that it's more beneficial to actually focus on tapping into our parasympathetic nervous systems before going to sleep and I find that that helps me sleep all night. So what actually is the parasympathetic nervous system? It's the opposite to the um, fight or flight that we're all really familiar with. So the, the parasympathetic nervous system would be our rest and digest. So if you've ever come out of a yoga class or a massage or a treatment and you're a bit kind of dopey but a bit happy and a little bit kind of like you've been drugged, like it can be called um, yoga drunk. That's kind of what the parasympathetic nervous system feels like. So tapping into that will help us get to sleep, stay asleep and also boost our immune systems. So I think we should be thinking quality and not quantity. So I have a list of five things that can help you to fall asleep in that lovely blissful state um, and I'm going to link the full article that I wrote for image but I'm just going to recap the five things very quickly here. The first one is about hydration and nutrition. Um, not going to bed starving, not going to bed hungry but getting to know your own body and kind of what time to eat in the evening that suits you and also without getting too kind of technical about it what snacks can you have that will help to have the nutrients in them that will help your body produce the hormones that help you sleep. The second tip would be around movement. Third tip is about routines. The fourth tip is about what apps I personally use um, and ones that are recommended to me that um, would be worth a try. And the fifth one is about breathing exercises or pranayama as they're called in yoga. So I will link the full article in the bio or wherever I can put in a URL and I'd love to hear your comments on how you get to sleep, how you manage to stay asleep if you suffer from insomnia or if you have the type of insomnia that I have, sleep maintenance insomnia. Thanks for watching.